हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम डॉक्टर प्रीति राउत सेकेंड ईयर रेडियोलॉजी रेसिडेंट इट्स शिवशा मेडिकल कॉलेज इन सुरेंद्र नगर गुजरात टॉपिक ऑफ माय पेपर इज रोल ऑफ ट्रांसवर्जनल सोनोग्राफी इन असिस्मेंट ऑफ एबनॉर्मल यूटर एंड ब्लीडिंग इन पेरी मनोपोजल एज ग्रुप Aim of the study to assess the role of USC in patient with abnormal uterine bleeding in perimenopausal age group. Introduction of the abnormal uterine bleeding defined as the change in frequency, duration, and amount of menstrual bleeding associated with ovulatory cycles, usually an organic cause, also associated with anovulatory cycles. Diagnosis of exclusion, no anatomic abnormality, and based on patient history. Then etiologies. organic and dysfunctional in organic systemic reproductive tract disease etrogenic in dysfunctional ovulatory and anovulatory reproductive tract disease gestational event malignancies in benign conditions including atrophy adenomyosis leiomyoma polyps cervical lesions foreign body and infections role of usg uterine architecture endometrial thickness important adjunct to sampling transvaginal sonography better sensitivity is mainly 89 percentage specificity is 96 percentage endometrial thickness is 5 mm in normal excluded criteria is endometrial carcinoma goldstein 1919 after menopause usg plus endometrial biopsy is taken when endometrial thickness is greater than 5 mm transvaginal sonography it is done with a probe which is placed close to the target organ there is no need of a full bladder it also avoid the difficulties due to obesity face in a transabdominal sonography transvaginal sonography operate at a high frequency mainly 5 to 8 megahertz therefore detailed evaluation of the pelvic organ within 10 cm of the field is possible with the tvs but the drawback of the transvaginal sonography are mainly due to narrow vagina as in virgin postmenopausal woman or post radiation vaginal stenosis yes and method observational study carried in the department of radiology diagnosis and sirusha hospital surendra nagar about 80 patient presenting with the complaint of abnormal uterine bleeding all the patient underwent a diagnostic and therapeutic dnc when indicated histopathological correlation and follow up with surgical finding is done when available this is the all included case of 39 year old female presented with history of lower abdominal pain fullness of abdomen and irregular vaginal bleeding on tvs ultrasound image reveals giant heterogeneous hypoechoic lesion with lateral shadowing and posterior acoustic enhancement is seen on color doppler lesion does not show any vascularity this is the fibroid with the displaced endometrial strip is seen. 40 year old female with abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding the ultrasound image shows sub mucosal fibroid of uterus well visualized on tvs with impression on the endometrial strip next one is a 42 year old female with perimenopausal continuous bleeding from her vagina on tvs it showed thick endometrium with surrounding normal endometrium in dilatation and curettage reveal endometrial hyperplasia one is 42 year old female with perimenopausal continuous bleeding from her vagina on tvs it shows thickened endometrium with surrounding normal myometrium in dilatation and curettage reveals endometrial hyperplasia if a year old female came with a history of painless continuous vaginal bleeding on tvs it show focal area of thickened endometrium in hysteroscopic biopsy reveal the presence of endometrial polyp year old obese female with history of vaginal bleeding on tvs it showed thickened endometrium dnc biopsy revealed the presence of endometrial carcinoma the 40 year old female with vaginal bleeding and abdominal fullness tvs show endometrial mass with increased vascularity dnc biopsy revealed the presence of endometrial carcinoma observations out of 80 patients study and abnormality was reported in 57 patients on tvs all the patient underwent a diagnostic and therapeutic dnc when indicated histopathological correlation was obtained when available patient were also followed up with the surgical finding when available this is the bar graph of age distribution in study population it shows age distribution of the study participants reveal majority of the female are in the age group of 30 to 40 years followed by the 25 to 30 years 
This is the graph of diagnosis on TBS. Diagnosis included fibroid, endometrial hyperplasia, endometrial polyp, endometrial carcinoma, and normal patients. Majority, majority of the diagnosis is fibroid sin. Then we carried out the graph of diagnosis on DNC, mainly seen in the normal patients. Final diagnosis on follow-up, the mainly diagnosis is fibroid followed by the normal patient, then the endometrial hyperplasia, then the endometrial carcinoma, least is the endometrial polyp. We had a very high sensitivity for diagnosing fibroid, then the DNC, especially subserosal and intramural. They miss only two smaller fibroids, whereas DNC could detect only the four submucosal fibroids. TVS also makes four cases of endometrial hyperplasia. Two cases of endometrial carcinoma were strongly diagnosed as endometrial hyperplasia by TVS alone. Type of sensitivity of TVS and DNC in abnormal uterine bleeding. The fibroid shows sensitivity of on the TBS 93% and DNC 13% endometrial hyperplasia show on TBS 75 sensitivity and DNC 100% and in endometrial polyp both TBS and DNC show 100% sensitivity in endometrial carcinoma on TBS 83% and DNC 100% shows message TBS allow for the detection of an endometrial pathology in the vast majority of the patient with abnormal uterine bleeding. It is easy to perform given an excellent visualization as compared to TS and it and is well accept, accepted by the patient. It is superior to DNC in subserosal and intramural pathologies. It can be used as a first line investigation in all cases of abnormal uterine bleeding.